my name is Demi and I would like to welcome you to our beginner's guide to showing cob series. Now this is something I'm really excited to be doing. It's something I've been planning to do for a long time now and I'll be honest with you, I just haven't had the confidence to do it. But I keep seeing every single day now people posting on social media and on forums, hey, I'm going to my first horse show in a couple of weeks. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's expected of me. I don't know what to wear. I don't know how to turn my horse out. Help, please. So I decided to pluck up the courage and finally start putting this series together for you all. So this is our first episode. Today we're going to be covering what to wear. Now I would like to clarify that this is specifically aimed to the first time shower. So we're talking low level shows, local fun shows, things like that. Nothing that's affiliated or high level or anything. Um, just first time local fun shows. And the first thing I want to get across to everyone is just relax about it, honestly. The first time I ever went to a show, I was so nervous because I didn't have all the fancy kit. I didn't have a clue what I was doing and I felt really out of place and actually by the end of the day, I sat there and I scratched my head and I wondered what on earth I made all the fuss for because it was so much fun. So let's jump into today's episode, which is going to be all about what to wear. So I've got pretty much my whole showing wardrobe here, actually, minus the trousers. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so one of the questions people always ask when they're going to their first show is what should I wear? What can I wear? Now, traditionally for showing, you want to wear a tweed jacket. Uh, this is for ridden showing, sorry. So traditionally for ridden showing, you want to wear a tweed jacket, um, sort of natural colored jodhpur, so beige form, that kind of color, creamy colors, uh, black boots, preferably. However, at this level, no one's gonna care if you wear brown boots. It's honestly not a big deal. And if you've got it, you want a nice silk helmet or a nice silk helmet cover, something that looks a bit fancier. And gloves, must wear gloves in the showing. Again, it's traditional to wear brown for showing, but if you only have black gloves, again, it's not the end of the world, believe me. Um, the first few shows I went to, I was completely misdressed and it wasn't an issue, honestly. Um, and you're going to want to wear a shirt with a collar. Now, the colour of the shirt isn't really a big deal. Um, some showing societies like you to wear like canary coloured shirts, some places like you to wear white shirts. But honestly, for low level, unaffiliated events, just use what you have is the best way of putting it. Um, just use what you have. Whatever you have will be good enough. As long as you've got some smart, natural coloured jods, a jacket. Now it doesn't have to be a tweed jacket for this level. Um, my first few shows I went to, I actually wore, let me show you. Oops. Okay, so this is what I wore to my first couple of shows because this is all I had. Now this cost me about £25 on Amazon. Dirt cheap. It's really old now. I've had this for ages. Um, I actually bought it to use as a dressage jacket. And when I went to my first show, this was all I had. So this is what I wore. And I wore this for my first season of showing. And I did not have any problems. So please don't worry if you don't have all the correct kit at this point. Um, yeah, so colour. At this level, colour is not a big deal. As long as it's not something like hideously in your face offensive and that just looks naff and cheesy, you're going to be fine. So if you've got a black jacket, wear a black jacket. If you've got a navy jacket, wear your navy jacket. If you've got a tweed jacket, perfect, wear your tweed jacket. All of that is going to be absolutely fine. Um, now back to shirts, I actually was wearing, excuse me, I was actually wearing a white shirt for quite some time. Um, lots of people like to wear like cream coloured shirts. I've actually got one that's got a little bit of pink in it now. I don't know if you can see that up there. A little bit of pink on that one. Um, I'll show that to you guys properly in a minute. But yeah, just as long as you look smart, presentable, coordinated, make sure that your colours complement your horse, you're going to do just fine. Um, 
again, I'm going to keep saying it because it is the biggest focus of this video, really. The showing world can be really, really intimidating to people who don't know what they're doing. I felt really intimidated when I first started this and I shouldn't have. Now I'm starting to feel intimidated again because I'm looking to up my game this year. I am looking to go to the affiliated shows. I want to go to the championship shows. I want to go to toys. That is the goal for this year. So I'm in a position now where I actually need to start thinking about reading the rule books. What clothing colours should I be wearing? What is actually going to be required of me? But for your first time show, local shows, fun shows, anything like that, you don't need to stress about it. You're not going to get marked down for it unless you are incredibly unlucky and have a seriously picky judge, which you shouldn't have at that level. It's not going to make any difference, honestly. So just relax and use whatever you have available. Um, so let me show you what I've got here. This is pretty much my entire showing wardrobe that I have hung up behind me. Um, none of this is fancy. None of this is expensive. Most of this is probably considered incorrect, but I've been using this for about five years now. I have never had a bad comment from a judge. I've never been marked down because of it. So as far as I'm concerned, it works. So let's check this out. Okay, so as I said, this was my first ever jacket that I bought. I bought this for dressage and I spent my first season of showing wearing this jacket with a white shirt with a collar, cream jumpers. I had really cheap riding boots. Um, I mean, they polished up nicely, but they were like 30 pound riding boots that I got from, I can't even remember where. And I was wearing either my stock, which is technically incorrect for showing. You really do want to wear a tie for the show ring if you can. Um, but yeah, after I realized that I got this lovely pink tie. So I was wearing black jacket, white shirt, pink tie, cream jobs, 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 black boots and whatever helmet it was I had at the time. Um, I think I just had a skull cap at the time and I got one of those silk looking hat covers to go on it just to make it look a bit smarter. Now I wore that for my first year of showing and we were placed in pretty much every show we went to, apart from the ones where Woody decided to throw a man tantrum and we got marked down for his attitude, basically. But yeah, we got placed in pretty much every show we went to. Nobody ever made a comment to me about the fact that I was wearing a black jacket. So, not a big deal. Um, once I realised that everybody else was wearing, you know, different stuff to me and I did a little bit of research, um, I actually went out and I bought myself this jacket. Um, again, this wasn't expensive. I think this cost me like, it was under £50. Um, I, I got both of these jackets on Amazon. I'm a cheapskate, I'm going to own up to it. Um, I'm never willing to throw loads of money into something. Now that I'm in the position I am now, where I'm looking to aim a bit higher, I'm thinking about throwing money into my clothing. But back then, this was less than 50 quid. This has lasted really, really well. Really, really well. Um, again, I was just wearing this with a white shirt with the collar on it and I bought myself a few different ties at that point as well. Um, I haven't worn all of these in the show ring just because I've never felt inspired to, I suppose. I usually tend to stick to these two. But, and this is another thing, everyone's always going to say to you, you must wear this colour, you must wear that colour. Unless you're going to an affiliated show run by a specific breed society that has a very strict list of rules in their rule book with regards to what you can and cannot wear, it, it's open game basically. Um, you know, don't let anyone ever tell you oh, you can't wear that colour because unless it specifically says it in the rule book, why can't you wear that colour? You know, you make it your own at the end of the day. Everyone always tries to blend in and wear the same things. And in my head, I'm thinking, well, I want to be a little bit different because being a little bit different gets you noticed. And that's a good thing, in my opinion. I mean, you don't want to get noticed for being completely out there crazy and, you know, you don't want to get noticed in a bad way is what I'm trying to say. But being a little bit different, you know, being happy to try some different colours, that's always a good thing, I think. Especially if it complements your horse. Um, yeah, so that's my two jackets. Um, while we're over in this area, um, 
another thing you're going to want, this is for the ladies, or gentlemen, I suppose, if you happen to have long hair. Um, another thing you want to consider is hair. Um, so I've got a hairnet here and a nice big puffy hairband. Um, so you've got your outfit on, you're looking fantastic and you need to get your hair back as well, out of the way. Your hair needs to be smart and tidy for the show ring. Um, that's something that I've always considered as a non-negotiable. You want to keep your hair smart and tidy. So best thing to do is pull it back into a really tight bun, low level bun down the back here. Pop your hairnet on it, pop a pretty scrunchie on it, nice and tight, out of the way. Jobs are good done. So always remember, smart hair for the show ring. Um, and another little thing I've got here that I want to show you guys. I mentioned you need to be wearing your gloves. It's considered correct to wear brown gloves for the show ring. Um, I never actually knew why until this year. So white gloves are for dressage. Brown gloves are for showing. Uh, black gloves, now see, I used to wear black gloves a lot. And apparently it is considered incorrect. Um, I'm going to use that word loosely. But it is considered incorrect because black gloves were traditionally worn during mourning, apparently. Uh, so it is apparently not the done thing to wear black gloves in the show ring unless you are in mourning. So there you go, random fact. I didn't know that until this year. I've been wearing black gloves for years and years and years. Nobody ever told me that, mind you. So I don't think it's actually an issue, but eh, the more you know. Eh? So brown gloves, again, these weren't expensive. I think these cost me somewhere in the region of 12 to 15 pounds. Um, you can get, they're like faux leather gloves. You can get these in pretty much any equine store or online again. Um, they're really easy to get hold of. Um, the ties, actually, a couple of those ties were from equine stores um, and a couple of them were just random ties that I spotted in like Matalan or whatever that I liked the look of, so I picked them up. Um, yeah, don't limit yourself to shopping just in equestrian stores. <laughs> um, what else have I got here? So, I've got another jacket over here. Talking about not limiting yourself to equestrian stores. So, this was picked up in... I don't know if you can see it. This jacket was picked up in a charity shop. Now, the reason I want to show you this one... I'm just going to sit back down so we can get it in the shop behind me. Now, the reason I want to talk about this one... Um, I've got my stock out here. I've got another stock here which I am yet to learn how to tie. So if anyone out there can show me how to tie a stock, I've watched so many YouTube videos, I've had so many people try to show me and I just can't get it in my head. So if anyone out there knows how to tie a stock, can you please teach me because I can't get my head around it. Um, hence, I have a pre-tied one here. But this one's prettier and I want to use this one this year. Life problems, eh guys? Um, yeah, back to the topic in hand. So reason I wanted to show you this is because if you happen to win a class and your show happens to have a championship performance or an evening performance, um, then you are going to want to wear a black jacket to that if you have it. Now, it's not the end of the world if you don't have it. Again, we're talking low level shows here. You're not going to get penalised for this kind of thing. But it is considered correct that if you go to a championship class, so you've done your show in classes at the beginning of the day, your horse was placed first and you've been invited to attend another show later on in the afternoon um, or in the evening sometimes. Sometimes it can be really late in the evening. Um, so they're going to basically pick, put all the winners from all the classes in one class at the end of the day and they're going to pick the overall champion. Now, if you happen to be going to that championship class or that evening performance, you're going to want to be wearing a black jacket if you can and a stock. Now, not the end of the world if you don't have it. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to sound like a broken record because it isn't a big deal for this level. So yeah, uh, normal showing classes, you want to aim for your tweed and a tie. Championship um, evening classes, you want to aim for black jacket and a stock. Now, uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be white. Some places will specify that it's like a white stock. Some places won't. Um, that's something that I want to sort of add in here, actually, is the fact that if you're ever unsure about what you can and cannot wear, um, and you want to be 100% sure what you can and cannot wear, 
you can always go onto the show's website and there if it's going to be a big deal there will be a dress code listed somewhere if you can't find a dress code listed for the show that you're going to then don't stress about it it's not a big deal um, if you go onto their website and there is a dress code listed then it's worth trying to adhere to that dress code um, okay so that is all of your ridden showing attire um, I didn't actually bring my jodhpurs but they're just plain beige jodhpurs that's what I wear that's what I always wear because that's all I have um, boots actually I didn't show you boots so just got some plain fairly smart black boots you don't have to spend a fortune on your boots um, these are particularly nice boots I did get these as a knockoff deal actually because they had a teeny tiny scuff on the front of one of them so I actually got them for £100 cheaper than what they were meant to be which was amazing because self-confessed cheapskate right here uh, and my hat that I have now now when I first started I was wearing a normal skull cap with one of those like silk hat covers on it which looked absolutely fine that was not a problem I never got pulled up for that since then I have upgraded and I now have this one uh, with the nice leather straps and suede top now again this is something I only recently found out um, apparently it is considered incorrect for ladies to wear black helmets or black jackets apparently you're supposed to wear navy now I never knew that nobody has ever told me that I it was just one of those things you know when you're flicking through forums and things on the internet and you just stumble across something and it's like ah oh, never knew that so yeah that's how I felt about that when I found that out um, so I don't really know what to make of that I mean again unless it specifically says somewhere in the show schedule that you've got a strict dress code wouldn't worry too much about it um, but yeah another random fact for you ladies are supposed to wear navy instead of black you? <laughs> okay um on to in hand showing so that was covering all of the riding uh clothing on to in hand showing um now one tip i will give you for in hand showing is to try and contrast the color of your trousers against the color of your horse's legs so for example if you've got a horse with white legs you're going to want to wear dark colored trousers if you've got a horse with dark legs you want to try and wear light colored trousers um now everyone seems to have a very different style again this can be related to your showing society and things like that and which breed of horse is showing but for low level shows which is what the focus of this video is supposed to be about trousers are trousers if you've got boot cut trousers or boot cut trousers if you've got skinny leg trousers wear skinny leg trousers if you've got jodhpurs and you want to wear them that's fine do that um again for the first season that i was showing horses I was showing in hand in my riding gear so I was wearing my jodhpurs my long riding boots and my black jacket that's what I wore because that's all I had nobody pulled me up over it it was not an issue um, again as I went to more and more shows and I started looking at what other people were doing I started picking up tips and advice I went and I invested in a couple of waist jackets um, let me get a better look at those for you so oops almost fell over so I went and invested in a couple of waist jackets so if I show a horse in hand now I will typically wear something like this nice shirt nice waistcoat I've got another waistcoat here um, the color varies depending on which horse I'm showing I like to try and contrast my colors to make the horse look its best um, and I will usually just wear any old trousers really um, all of my horses have white legs so I will always wear dark trousers or black trousers some people wear like dark green trousers some people like to wear brown trousers can do a little bit of research find out what people tend to wear for the type of horse that you have um, I mean this video this series actually is going to be specifically targeted towards showing cobs because that's what I know um, but you know a lot of the things I'm going to be telling you are going to be able to be applied to other horses you know um, but just do a little bit of research figure out what other people are wearing figure out what you like 
try some things, see if you get positive feedback on it. Um, but yeah, in hand showing, you're going to want a nice shirt, nice waistcoat, trousers, whatever you've got is fine. Boots. Now, I mean, you absolutely can wear your long riding boots if that's all you've got. Again, that's what I did for the first year. Uh, the one thing I will say about boots, make sure you can run in them. Very, very important factor. Um, when you show a horse in hand, you have to trot your horse up fast. And if you can't run in your shoes, it's just, it's not fun. So whatever you wear, make sure they're smart, but make sure they're comfortable and make sure you can run in them. Um, again, for the in hand, you're going to want to wear gloves. Um, hats is a bit of a... Mm, it can vary from show to show. Now, some shows will insist that you wear a hard hat for showing in hand. That is entirely at the discretion of the show. Um, so you will have to check out the schedule to find out if that is a requirement. If you're not required to wear a hard hat, you don't have to wear anything on your head if you don't want. Some people like to wear hats. I personally don't have any experience with wearing hats in shows because I tend to just not wear one. Unless I have to wear a hard hat, I don't tend to wear one. Um, that's a personal choice of mine. Um, if anyone's interested to learn any more about that, let me know. I'm more than happy to do some research into it. Um, if that's something you guys would like to know and maybe do another video about it later on in the year. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. For your in hand shirt, waistcoat. Oh, you do want to wear a tie for your in hand showing, preferably. Um, I see lots of people showing in hand without ties, but I think it looks a lot smarter and it is considered, you know, the expected thing. You are expected to wear a tie in hand showing. Um, yes, yeah, so your waistcoat, your shirt, your tie, jods if that's what you've got, or trousers, and boots that are smart and that you can run in. Um, and one other thing I didn't mention actually is a. I don't know if you can see it on there. Oops. A little bit. No. There we go. There we can see it. Um, stock pin or a tie pin or a brooch that you can put on the collar of your jacket so sometimes I will pin a brooch on the collar of my jacket somewhere here just to add a little bit of sparkle so it looks pretty it's absolutely not a requirement it's just something that you can do if you want to add a bit of bling um, and yeah that just about covers what to wear for your first ever show um, I'll go ahead and put some links in the description as well for some of the stuff that I've got here. Like I said, a lot of it came from Amazon and did not cost a lot of money. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put links for that down below as well. Um, and yeah, that just about covers it for today. As I said, just don't stress out about going to your first show. If you're going to a local fun show, low level show, what you wear is not going to be a big deal. And I honestly mean that. So good luck out there. If you have any questions, please do let me know and I will do the best I can to answer them for you. Um, and yeah, I look forward to adding to this series throughout the summer. This is going to be really exciting. Um, again, if you have any questions with regards to showing cobs that you would like me to do a video about, pop that in the description as well. Um, I am all open to ideas. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. This has been really fun for me. Um, and I will see you in our next episode of A Beginner's Guide to Showing Cobs. See you then. Bye.